by rookie Cooley. Ahead for Corcoran. Corcoran on the wing for Cooley. Cooley to the net. Scores! Cooley and the Spitfires take point first. Well, the hottest goal scorer for the Windsor Spitfires keeps his goal scoring streak alive. Just comes down, gets the puck wide with speed. Snaps it high over the blocker of McGrath. We break out here through the neutral zone. Good puck minute starts with Cooley. Receives it back. Keeps skating in stride, head up all the way. That ends up in the feet of Pilon. He can't get that to go. Now it's loose and they'll get this on the rebound and tie it up. Pilon, that is Drake Pilon. Don't get a clear. So missed assignments here. Three guys going to the puck. Leaves Pilon in the back door. Loose puck, can't quite, keem to, can't quite seem to find it. The Windsor defenders can't. Since 2016. It's a giveaway in front. Cooley's gonna get another one. And it's 2-1. Well, this line's worked well below the goal line here tonight so far. You can see Foody in there, draws two defenders to him, slides it low to Douglas, spins around, big reach, gets the shot off, and the hottest Spitfire. There he is, all alone in front. Here's D'Amico. D'Amico blindly out to back, right in the slot. To back's going to skate into an open area, and then Hutchinson's going to tuck it in as it ricochets around, and the Wolves have tied it at two. For a goal to the first goal against for the Windsor Spitfires. Turnover in zone. A little bit of a sweep check. It's Mr. Simons. And then sure enough, there's a guy in the back door that's got a gaping cage. Steos hustles to that loose puck. Sends that weak one in. Spitfires score! Angle makes it 3 2. First to regain their one goal lead. What a great face off win by Angle. Just taps it back. We get some good movement on a set play here. And the puck squirts out. Angle all alone out front. Similar to Cooley on the second goal. Douglas and Pilon are tangled up in behind the play. Candela gets a step on Reno and scores! And Della's going to tie it at three. Pilon and Douglas tied up on the ice here in the slot in front of the Jake McGrath as he gets a step here on Luca Heno. Space in here for Peronin, just a pet against the oh. post, but just eases off just a little bit. The home team goes to the darks, and the road team goes to the whites. Chance for Cooley, gets it, hat trick, Spitfires, out front, 4-3. Watch for a few more to come down on the ice. There's three. <laughs> Will Cooley. Very similar goal to the first one of the night to get the Windsor Spitfires a 1-0 lead. To put Clubs Windsor up by a goal. Here's another look. Does a good job coming over the blue line. And oh, short sees sky guys suck. Head up all the way. Spitfires, penalty killers are gassed. Byfield slips one right towards the net. And he'll score. Quinton Byfield finally sneaks one by in the power play. And these Sudbury Wolves just won't go away. You see Byfield walk in closer, gets into a better shooting area, kind of pulls, drags a little bit. And he shoots it far side over the glove of Peroinen. Towards the net, three Spitfires back the other way. Here comes Luca Heno. His pass out of the reach of D'Amico. Heno, Heno's got nothing but net all alone. Scores! D'Amico, Dougal, to win! Spitfires 5-4 in OT. And P. Roynan will get the win. Here's Luca Heno, the original pass. Just out of the reach of D'Amico, and then the ice just opens up for him. Well, honestly, Chris, I thought that was kind of going to be a dead play after that puck went in the corner there. I thought it probably could have moved it earlier in the neutral zone, but here's it starting right here. Luca Heno is three on one. Phillips the only one back in the pass right there. You thought maybe it was done. Exactly. I thought probably three seconds before they could have moved it and possibly set him in on a breakaway, but good work. Sudbury just a little bit mixed up there, and it's tough three on three. Yeah. Will Cooley gets his first OHL hat trick. D'Amico, the game winner in OT. 5 4 the final.